a air sign. Hello, darlings. How are you? Uh, welcome in to November 21st. Looking at your sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Uh, Thanksgiving, we suspend the early bird um, pricing for the retreat. So if you want to go, now's the time. Um, I realize it's coming up. December 5th is the retreat in Atlanta. Lots of amazing people coming. Really some cool stuff going to happen. There's a video on the channel if you want to take a look at all the details. Okay. So if you want to jump on, do that. Also Thanksgiving, we're opening up the 2019 calendar for private readings and recorded readings. They put a video out about that uh, Thanksgiving or the day after, something like that. So click that little bell if you haven't already uh, so you can get notified of that video, of any videos. <laughs> all right, guys. So here's what's going on. Air sign. One more, please, for um, November 21st. What is... Woo! I feel it coming. Strength. You got it. That's awesome. Fire sign. It's fire sign. This is Venus. Air sign. This is a Leo. So I'm thinking fire sign. Could be a fire sign in your life that has overcome something. Hermit. Who has led the charge overcoming something. I see the emperor here too. Fire sign for sure. Because that's earth sign. Yes. Fire sign. Coming to you, baby. Okay, you might have been a little depressed and not knowing what's going on here. Woohoo! All right, passionate, passionate coming to you. No pun intended. Overarching energy of the reading. I did see that Aries card, so just put a pin in that. Five of Swords. There might be a little bit, that's a. Okay, so if you didn't know what was going on with this person, you might have a tendency to be like, WTF? What? Uh, now all of a sudden things are fine. Like this person has been at a distance from you for a while. All right. So let's see here. Um, world, Knight of Wands. No. <laughs> Do I need to read that for you? <laughs> Those of you who are in the tarot class, I know you know what this is. This is somebody coming to you after completing something in their life. Some situation they had, they were moving away from. They're now moving toward you passionately moving toward you. You could have been in this very depressed place, but in love, nonetheless, no wonder you're depressed because you didn't know what was going on. Okay. Four of cups, king of cups. There's love here. Big love here. Okay. Eight of swords feeling like you couldn't do anything feeling helpless. Okay. And boy, this person has a lot of passion for you. Queen of wands, ace of wands, uh, page of swords. It might come through in a text. They might reach out to you be like, Hey, and you're like, Hey, you need a divining rod to find a Hey in me. You know, you could be mad at them right now, but you know, here's the deal. They went through some shit. Okay. They went through it. They did what they thought was right. Yeah. They went through something. They, um, this could be a, th a third party. <laughs> Sorry. This could be a third party situation where um, you're the third party and you were sort of like at an arm's length, at a distance. Okay, world card here. You were maybe far away from them. They're now coming toward you. Okay. Um, Knight of Wands. <laughs> I don't think I need to tell you what that intention's about. Nine of Wands. Wow, that's a lot of wands. <laughs> That's a lot of ones. Yes, that's a lot of ones. Uh, it's reciprocal though. Six of Pentacles, nine of ones. Once you get past this feeling of like, oops, I gotta try and make that even. Um, where you been, right? Where you been? This Eight of Swords here. You guys have you've been really through it. This has been a long time. You've been in it for a long time. Yes, Page of Wands. They're gonna offer you. That's message of passion. Literally a message of passion page of wands. They're going to offer you that page of wands, page of swords, knight of swords, queen of swords. You know where we're going here, right? So nine of swords, no, sorry, swords. Listen to me. Wands, wands, knight, knight of wands, page of wands, queen of wands, right? Nine of wands, lots of wands here. Passionately. They have had 
a difficult situation, okay? If they were getting divorced or if they were going through some kind of situation that they had to go through, they had to have this dark night of the soul, you were kind of left to wonder what's going on. The full moon on the 23rd, um, zero degrees Gemini, communication delivered by Mercury, right? Even though we're in Mer Mercury retrograde, this is a chance to really, it's going to be illuminated for you. Like you'll see what happened. You'll see what's going on. You might even start to have little, you know, awarenesses. That's not a word, but okay. Um, at the corner of your knowing that you're like, okay, I kind of see why this had to go down the way it went down. Even though you are in this four of cups, eight of swords place about it, right? You felt like they weren't communicating, they weren't telling you anything, and that was really a bummer for you, okay? But things are about to get a whole lot brighter. So um, put a pin in that. I wouldn't really... You might think that they were trying to get one over on you. This five of swords thing is bothering me a little bit. You might think that they were trying to get one over on you, but they, re in reality, they were really going through a lot of crap. Okay. So uh, remember that as you're like, why didn't you just tell me what was going on? Okay. So let's do an extended read on this. We'll see where we go here. Um, put a pin in that full moon. It happens on Friday the 23rd. So just be mindful of that. Okay. All right. Link is below for um, the extended. Also the retreat. If you'd like to sign up, we'd love to have you. There's still a few, few spaces left. So please, if you'd like to, now's the time. Okay. All right. See you on the other side.